Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about the sun and the moon in yoga and I wanted to talk about my tattoos as this representation for me and my personal path on how the sun and the moon uh, are important to me in terms of my life and my energy and yoga. So, um, ha uh, means sun and tha means moon. Hatha yoga is the most uh, traditional and classic type of yoga. It's the umbrella that all the yogas fall under. So of course Surya means sun and Chandra means moon as well. There's different names in Sanskrit, but Ha and Tha are the most, um, the root, the root uh, syllable, the seed um, that would give you those, uh, those powerful Sanskrit words, Ha being, tha, being sun and Tha being moon. And so yoga is about uniting these opposite forces of the sun and the moon. The sun of course is active and warm and it's um, generally described as ma masculine as well. And the moon is described as feminine and as passive and receptive and cool. And so in yoga, our goal is to unite these two opposing forces and to create a balance of them in our bodies as well as in our minds and our energies and our hearts. And so, of course, there I've also spoken to you guys over the last 50 days about the energy channels that run through the body, the pranic energy channels, which the Shishimna goes up the center. The Ida is the feminine and is on the left. The Pingala is masculine and on the right. So that's why I got my tattoos. The left on for the moon on the left and the right is the sun. It made sense for me and it made sense for the, the way the energy flows. And so the Ida and the Pingala are constantly crossing at these major energy channels um, junctions where our chakras are located. So since the moon and the sun intersect over the shishimna, the center spine, the center energy channel that energy flows through, it's this marriage of these two opposing forces, this duality that exists in all of us, not just in our energy, but in, in the way that we, we live, right? And every day there's a sunrise, a sunset, a moonrise, I'm kind of a moonset in a way, but that's the true for our, our own beings. So we're always going through cycles. And we do have dual forces, both the masculine and the feminine, doesn't matter if you're man or woman. It's this beautiful yin and yang, right? As every tradition has this kind of belief, or maybe not every, I don't know if I can quite say every, but just it's a, an amazing presence and to be aware of, to be conscious of in your daily life and it, that it's okay when things are a little bit more cool and passive and receptive and it's all right when things are a little hotter and more passionate and active. Both are, both are great. And I love thinking about how the sun, when it's in the sky, it illuminates everything around it. But when the moon's out, it only illuminates certain things, right? So it leaves them some room for mystery and some room for just taking things one step at a time. Whereas when the, the sun is out, you can just run a kilometer and you can see everything and uh, the whole path is available to you. The whole path is ahead. But the moon, there's still that room for some some intimacy and some, um, some mystery and you have to use your intuition to figure things out. I think it's so cool. So that's um, how the sun and the moon play together with nadis, with yin and yang, with energies. And in your yoga practice, you'll also notice that you have a warm up to build a fire, the sun salutation, surya namaskara, and you have a cool down at the end of your practice, which is bringing that moon energy back to you, that passive receptivity. Each, pa um, each asana as well can have the active, um, the entering of the asana, maybe a powerful warrior but then there's a cooling moment in that pose where things just kind of steady right and so you can also think about which poses feel more Sun which poses feel more moon and what aspects of your practice feel like it's mar uh, creating a, a marriage of this dual forces so I hope you enjoyed hearing more about the Sun and the moon and yoga in me and you and in life thank you